Okay. Should I go next? Should I go next? Yes. Um, Please. So it, it, um, I actually lived in Sweden for a little while. Um, but I'm a teacher uh, in Washington State. And uh, I went to the first LCL course and uh, met Heloisa. We should we should get uh, Adriano involved in this. I don't know if you know him, but uh, I've talked with him a lot and shared ideas. But um, I do a lot of different things. I'm a full time teacher and. Uh, I haven't actually taught Scratch in, in several years, but I do a lot with uh, Lego Robotics. And uh, this year I'm taking up, uh, I'm going to be teaching two periods of uh, metal shops, so welding and, and metal fabrication. So, so uh, I do a lot of different things. So that's me. Oh, that's nice. Welcome to the pairs of the world. Oh, nice, nice artwork, by the way, on, on the uh, Hangout uh, or the YouTube channel. Yeah, it's not me. It, we, they did it in the conference. They uh, documented everything we had uh, in the conference in, in Bordeaux. And they uh, drew all the... It was so amazing. They're so oh, good. good. It is nice. Yeah. Uh, Norma, it's, it's you. Yes. Okay, so I don't know how to do this. <laughs> well, uh, my name is Norma, and I'm an after-school coordinator. Can everyone hear me? Hello? Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, so I've been doing Scratch three, four years with our kids. Um, they are absolutely loving it. Um, I actually am going to be buying some of those micro bits, so I'd be um, curious to find out how it works. Um, let's see, I'm originally from Mexico, but I was raised here, and um, this is my little makerspace area. I don't know if anyone can see it, but... What state are you in? Oh, New Hampshire. And I went to my first Scratch conference um, two years ago in Boston. So, yeah. And I really like getting the kids exposed to it. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And, and the, <laughs> our, our sessions are very informal. So we could do everything. We could, uh, yeah. So it, it's not uh, a formal with the tie and uh, everything. Uh -huh. It's just hanging loose. So, uh, Alan, we didn't we didn't get him online. I think. I think he's there in the chat, but um, I don't know if he's on a desktop machine. He doesn't have a camera and a microphone, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Or> maybe. <laughs> uh, I I think. Uh, we, we'll, I think Beatrice was going to join us, but I haven't seen her. I well, sent. I still have. It's only one minute. We still have one minute before before start time, don't we? I think we're yeah, all early. Yeah, yeah maybe. But I'm, I'm going to get a cup of coffee, so I don't. Yeah, know. That, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Beatrice, I don't know if you know her, uh, Norma. I don't. I don't think I know Beatrice now. Oh. Uh, she oh, was uh, okay. <laughs> one of the first uh, LCL uh, courses, too. And then I, I met her in Barcelona, in that conference. So, uh, and now she's moved to Sweden, <laughs> from Italy <laughs> to Sweden, in <laughs> August. I, th I think her husband got, got a, a working in uh, IKEA something. So it's very exciting for her. Swedish is not easy to learn. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Yeah, uh, you you didn't uh, you haven't been to the LCL uh, course? No. No, I have not. No. <clears throat> no, I think it was was it four years ago, five or something like that. Uh, MIT Media Lab they started a course called Learning Creative Learning. And we all met each other there, and it was so amazing. Oh, there, Alan is alive. <laughs> Do you have a microphone? He's talking, but we don't hear you. Oh, he hasn't incoming. Oh, are you, Norma? I, I see two of you. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm trying to uh, see if I can do it again. I don't know if that works. Yes, that's that's not easy. He has no incoming audio, so that's uh, something strange. But uh, should we uh, start with uh, the Norma's presentation? Are you pepped up? <laughs> and I should see if I could uh, wait a second. No. Oh. Oh, too many there. I share this one there. So, uh, do you see uh, the presentation? Yeah. So, if I yes. start that one, is it uh, full screen? I think so. Yeah, oh, that's okay. So then I should uh, mute my mic and let Norma speak. It's okay? Oh, okay, thank you. Um, I kind of put this together really quickly. Um, I wanted to make put in more pictures, but I wasn't able to. Um, so this is my school. <laughs> Uh, we have over 550 students from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. Um, if you want to turn to the next slide. So the school was built in 1974. Um, it was recently renovated about two, three years ago. Um, and like I said, we have kindergarten through fifth grade. Sorry, getting a phone call. <laughs> um, so, right currently we have 550 students, but we can reach up to like six, 600 students. 
Um, if you want to turn to the next slide. Um, we are a Title I school, which means we get um, extra funding due to our students um, below the poverty line. Um, in order for you to be a Title I school, um, your, your families have to be, 40% uh, of your families have to be low income. And our school in particular is not over 90%. Um, so if you turn over to the next slide, I, I kind of saved a lot of pictures from the summer. So these are some of the pictures that we had, um, the activities that we did. This is our gym um, in the field out back. And this is like the sign that I have for recruiting. Uh, if you want to turn to the next slide. Does anyone have any questions? I can't hear anyone. Hello? No, we, we are just uh, looking and uh, listening. OK, OK. <laughs> Maybe the questions Sorry. come later. And uh, I oh, think okay. Alan turned over to his uh, uh, Windows laptop. OK, OK. So this is, these are some of the activities that we've done over the summertime. Uh, we hold a 20-day summer program. Um, so if you look at one of the pictures, that we, we had um, a green screen that we were able to use. And some of the kids dressed up in a green screen suit, and they kind of tested it out. This is our first year using it. So the kids were pretty excited about using it. Um, go to the next slide. Um, that is our tech room. Um, a lot of the stuff that I brought over from my room went up there. Um, our principal is very, very supportive of my program. So anything that um, I wanted to do, she pretty much let me do. <laughs> so I rearranged the whole tech room. This doesn't usually look this way during the school year. It's a little different. So if you want to turn it over to the next slide, and that's um, how I arranged it for the summer. Uh, I don't know if this is helpful at all, but we also do a lot of outreach and, and just different activities for our kids to do. Um, we do field trips. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, turn over to the next slide. Um, we do a lot of activities, uh, uh, makerspace, uh, just a lot of creative stuff. The kids, you know, pretty much can think of their own activities. And uh, this is one of the things that they did. They wanted to test out um, gumballs and, and uh, sticks to see if they can hold up a lot of uh, weight. This is just some of the stuff that we did over the summer. I wanted to include, and this is it, I wanted to include more pictures, but I wasn't able to. I apologize. Does anyone have any questions? Sorry. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, Norma. I mean, yes. Typing the yes. questions. I have many questions already. <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't speak. First on two slides back. I saw a lot of box in the classroom. If you could mm -hmm. come back there. Mm -hmm. What do you use, what do you have on that? What kind uh, of the, TV? Uh, the the, uh, the bin I times a week how many times a week do you have the classroom how long um, it, are your um, classes well, well, because i run the after school program I, I pretty much have um program, i pretty much have, uh pretty much work control over uh, how many classes i i do last year i did three makerspace classes a, a week um but it really depends on the staffing and how much interest there is um, within the program. There is actually and no maker space for the school. And what kind of activities you do as in this maker space? Robots, um, uh, Scratch, um, uh, everything, yes. or what? Yes. Yeah, we do. We do yeah. scratch. We have uh, a set of makey makeys. We have little bits as well. Um, my expertise isn't in tech, but I, I like to expose the kids to it, so we're learning together, which is great. Um, we also have uh, 
just a lot of uh, recycled stuff that they can make things out of. We've made jitterbugs before. Uh, this past year, we made jitterbugs and um, scribble bots. So it's just getting a lot of the kids access to, to different things that they wouldn't be able to be exposed to. Oh, thank you. And that summer time with the horse, is it part of the school or is another place? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a rescue farm that we took them to. Uh, so the kids actually um, thought up of some things to donate to the location. It's a, it's a large animal rescue farm. It's not part of the school, but it's just something that we wanted to, them to experience. Great, thank you. And uh, do you have all children for the summertime? Uh, yes. Uh, because we, like, maybe we, uh, the parents are working, and how is that? We have an enrollment, we have um, an enrollment a peri period um, that uh, we period go through. We so go through. parents that, that want it will sign up. Um, our hours aren't that really convenient for working parents, but parents that do want that exposure for their ch children do sign up, so. Okay, thank you. And uh, any questions, people? Did you finish your presentation? Do you have anything more? No, that's it. <laughs> That's it. I, I, I wish okay. I had more time to put more slides in. Sorry. Put more slides in. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. That's great. We are all. Oh, great. Yeah, I was wondering. You said something about holding weight, and I never saw a picture of that. So I, I can see now that that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Fleming, could you please call the office? You're at school right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is actually uh, the teacher's second day, and our kids start on Tuesday. So a lot of pictures that I took were of uh, teachers' rooms that were setting up, so it wasn't like the full effect. <laughs> so. Oh, that's right, that's right. You have a lot, lot more uh, pictures. Yes, I just haven't been able to put them on. I was taking pictures through the um, the phone, and I was uploading them onto uh, Google Drive, but it's taking forever to get them all on. Okay. Oh, we have Beatrice. Hello. Is that one of those astronomy domes? Yes. Yeah. We yes. actually uh, we actually uh, rented it out through the McClellan um, Shepherd Center, uh, the in Concord. So the kids were able to go in and, and uh, watch a presentation. It's pretty neat. Yeah, we brought that to our school last year as well, and they do some other activities. Yeah. We're, it's a nice we're experience. Uh, it's a nice we're experience. A well, can you explain me, please, what is this dome? I don't know. I have never seen that. This uh, it, big bubble. It's a dome. Uh, it's a dome that um, you can walk into. The, there's a person from the a person from the McAuliffe Center that comes in and does a presentation on the stars and and um, does it, it's like a 15 minute uh, presentation. About stars, I don't understand. Could you explain? So it does what a constellation. They, they do a presentation. They do a presentation. Uh, constellations. Astronomy. Yes, constellation. yeah. Yes, okay. astronomy. Yeah. Yeah. Astronomy. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You don't have this here. 
<laughs> For us, it's, it's interesting because we don't have it here in Brazil. Uh, Everything uh, is new for us, you know. So for you, maybe it's common, but for us, it's it's, it's very curious for us. Thanks. Uh, uh. Is there any more uh, pictures? Uh, unfortunately, no. I wasn't able to get all of them on. This is the last slide, then? Yes, it is the last okay. slide. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Yes. It's You're welcome. Thank you. Great work. Thank you. So many children, <laughs> so many <laughs> stuff. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like you to introduce everybody because I'm not sure who knows who here. Now we have Beatrice. Maybe. Uh, so let's use this final time to talk about, to introduce ourselves and to discuss these platforms, this difficulties we have to keep the group together and ask for suggestions for our peers, okay? Could you, Anders, please lead this. <laughs> I was uh, muted. Should I uh, present, present myself again? So Alan and uh, Beatrice, she knows me, I think, but uh, Alan may, maybe. Okay, I, I take it from here. I'm from Sweden and uh, I live in a very small municipality up, not in the nor northern part, but uh, about Stockholm and into the country. Uh, and uh, we have about 10,000 people in our municipality. It's not uh, that big. And we have the forest and the water, lakes, everything uh, here. And uh, my work is uh, ICT advisor and a long time uh, scratcher since uh, maybe nine or 10 years ago I started. And I tried to get Scratch into the schools. Uh, and we have uh, right now a uh, national plan for the school with the uh, programming as well as um, digital thinking, I think it's called. So th that's a little part of my work. And uh, should we take all of them again? So we go to Norma again. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, um, my name is Norma. I'm from uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, I've been doing Scratch or introducing Scratch for two to three years. Um, I went to my first conference, uh, Scratch conference, um, two years ago in, at, uh, in Boston. Uh, I loved it. Um, currently working with students from K to five in an after school program, uh, and um, trying to create a little maker space for our school. And um, that's pretty much it. Well, I'm originally from Mexico, but I was raised here in, in Manchester. So that's it. <laughs> okay, we'll I, I think I'm next. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I remember you, Beatrice, from the from the first, uh, I think you were, you must have been in the spirals, right? Weren't you? Yeah. 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 That, <laughs> Me that's too. what I thought. So, so um, anyway, but I, I'm actually from, I, I don't know how many uh, uh, people read these kind of books, but I'm actually from Forks, Washington. I don't know if anybody reads the Twilight books, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I might just say uh, some of the things that 
I'm planning this year. So last year we started a, a underwater robotics after school club. So you may have seen some film. They've done some Hollywood movies on underwater robotics. So it's, it's through that same program. Um, we were pretty successful last year. And so we got a bunch of kids excited and that's an after school program. Um, and then I run a STEM program at the middle school and have a lot of, it's sort of, it's sort of a maker space, but, um, we do uh, a lot of STEM activities, but I have like 3D printer and a laser cutter and, and I, I keep trying to add new things and we do a lot with the robotics. So um, anyway, oh, and, and Scratch. Uh, uh, I, I think Alan and I, we're, we're probably close to the same age. We've got the same hair color, but um, yeah, I've been doing Scratch <laughs> for a long time. I can't think of how, how long ago uh, I've been doing it, but um it's uh it's been off and on I, uh, I i've done it mostly with sixth graders and they they really they really take to it the younger kids but uh, there's some really great things you can do that's it and back to sweden beatrice <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, uh, I am Italian, but I moved uh, in, to Sweden uh, three weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because uh, the, my husband's work, and, in, uh, and uh, I, I was a, um, a math teacher in high school, but now I don't know what I, I will. And um, uh, I, with uh, my family and uh, other people, we started to um, in a library, a maker space in a library, a uh, public library, um, four years ago. And uh, we are always try to make uh, things, um, tinkering and making uh, in the library. Now I don't know what I have to do, what we, uh, we do, and what Anders will suggest me, <laughs> because uh, Anders suggests me always some, a lot of things uh, to do in Sweden, because it's a very beautiful country. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's all. I, I was in Spiral. Uh, do, do you live yeah, near Alan? What town do you live near? Pardon? Um, do you live ne near Alan, or or what town do you live? No, uh, no, Anders. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, Anders. Yeah. No, no, no. no I mean, no, no, uh, it no, depends no, no. On what you mean uh, with uh, near. No, no. Because uh, near, near, um, I think five hundred kilometers, Anders. Yeah, I five hundred. Yeah, about about yeah, that. Yes, uh, five hundred kilometers. Yeah. But I think for United States, it's nothing. Five hundred. <laughs> 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 for Italy, for Italy, is a long, long uh, um, distance. Yeah. So I I would like uh, to to go through tinkering and also also robotics but uh, first of all in um, unplugged activities that's all <laughs> yeah. okay should we move to Heloisa you shouldn't speak no oh. We move to uh, to Alan. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Um, I'm Alan Yorinx. I'm living in Allentown, New Jersey, which is fairly close to Princeton, if you know where. Um, in terms of, of Scratch, I uh, hosted a uh, an after school program in our middle school, which are uh, kids the ages of about. Uh, 10 to 13. 
I had an after school program for about three years, uh, but I'm no longer associated with the school, so I had to give that up. Um, most of the things that I'm doing now is uh, software for physical um, computing. Essentially, most of the, not most, but a lot of the things I have are libraries that allow you to connect things like um, Arduinos to Scratch, uh, the Raspberry Pi to Scratch. I've done that for the last few years, and, and a couple of my programs are now being used pretty extensively. I have one of my programs has been translated, I think, into 10 languages. So the, there are blocks available for all of those different languages. Um, I have a background in software engineering, so I like playing and tinkering with, with hardware. Um, my latest thing is I have a fairly high performance um, messaging platform, for mainly for robotics kinds of Banyan, and I'm coming out soon. I have the code ready, but I have not documented it yet. For JavaScript, Java, JavaScript, and, and uh, Java. And that's about it. Uh, that's about it. Well, I think that we have a conjunction of a big constellation here from 2013. Uh, our friend. Sent Coleman from Hi, 2013, LCL, dearest friend too. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's happening today, but everything <laughs> is, we are <laughs> to put everybody together. So we haven't, it's very touch for me. Thank you. <laughs> Please make Good. the presentation. I, I can speak it. Terrible for me. <laughs> okay, go on, please. <laughs> so, Sandy, could you present yourself? Uh, who are you? And, and sure. So, um, yeah. I um. Well, actually, I have met. Um, I guess both you and Heloisa originally with the CCAL. Um, I'm located in Delaware, uh, in the United States, and I've been involved. Uh, with uh, Scratch and Creative Learning for, I guess, the last, mm, I don't know, six six years or so now, six, seven years since I started in my position. And uh, it's just my favorite, one of my favorite communities. And when uh, Heloisa, she uh, Facebooked me this morning and let me know that you guys were meeting, so I just hopped in, just got out of the shower, so you have to excuse my uh, wet <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's about it. I uh, just excited to be here and uh, hear what you guys are up to. It's been a while. Yes, you are welcome to this informal uh, <laughs> meetings. <laughs> we have no no agenda. Sometimes we have uh, someone uh, pre presenting something, and you missed uh, Norma's presentation today. But, okay. Uh, uh, if if I can get your address, I ca could uh, share uh, this uh, our channel and uh, Google Drive, and uh, we probably uh, put the presentations in the drive. Okay. I think so. Well, we are e experimenting uh, a lot. <laughs> which platform is is the best? Is, is the best. Yes, uh, people. What I I'd like to talk. Uh, you, is <clears throat> we have this group we have peers from the four continents from africa asia europe america and we have the all these contents many of them i have met personally and are all very brilliant people and we have to stick together because everyone is struggling in each country with this educational problem, the word is not good for children, not even for us. So I, I believe we have to join our minds in our efforts to help each other because these are not easy uh, thing to do what we try to do in this world. We, have, we are privileged people that we have this conscience, the knowledge, 
the access to the technology and I uh, want to, to, to keep us together to, to, to encouraging each other, helping each other in this sharing peers and passion and play philosophy or more that we can add here. Uh, unfortunately, we have this problem, it, uh, technical problems. We are in contact with people at MIT. I'm trying to get a channel so we could put everything together. That's why I asked Alan and Anders, you the ITC experts, to help <coughs> to set all these many platforms. We using Facebook, <coughs> WhatsApp, Google, YouTube, Google Drive, it, and we have this uh, timetable, worldwide timetable from people. Sometimes people two in the morning from Korea or from Taiwan are joining us to be able to participate in. So it's a big effort for each one. Uh, and I think we can deal with that and prove this and maybe do something great. Uh, I think that uh, it's quite, I can say a miracle, but we have to use this possibility of internet to talk, to put everybody together and use our minds to do something great. And helping who are starting like Norma with a big school, with public school or any, any, anything we are here to help, to share each other. I think it's very important because for us, as long as I know you, each one of you, it's a matter of passion. So I'm very proud of for being with you, for having you here. I apologize for these technical problems. I'm not, not an IT background, I do my best. And of course, without you, I, we could do nothing. So I'd like to use this time, precious time of each one here, to, to learn from you what our expectations, ideas, suggestions. Please feel free. We are peers, we are friends and we can talk to improve this. Sometimes people, oh, we lose a lot of time. Of course, it's not perfect, but I, I think we can do that. And capacities and are a lot of here. So I, I, I'd like to, to invite you to, to this idea. And what, what do you think? Could you take that one more time, Norma? I just heard it like uh, it was an alien talking. <laughs> Oh, we lost. Uh, Sandy, what do you like to know while we waiting for Norma? You can talk something, please. Oh, okay. So um, I was just listening to what you were just saying. Um, so the intention is that you are um, trying to just like kind of reform a group and, and that's why I was asking on the chat about the LCO, uh, that site there. I know originally they had started that up as to be like a community, but it doesn't seem like there's much going on there. 
And are you looking to start a site or just a Google Doc or a spot or set up meetings? Uh, I'm just trying to get some clarity on what you what you're looking to do. I, I think it's a great idea for us to get together and to maybe share some of our resources and help each other. Um, I know I can use some help with av to advocate. Um, I'm dealing with a district now that is not supporting what I'm doing. Um, so I'm looking to find creative ways to um, persuade them into my way of thinking. <laughs> so I, that's all I was, I'm just curious about what exactly what you're trying, you know, what, what the goal is. Could you speak, Eloisa, or I don't know if we have any goal, but uh, I, I think it's uh, the goal is to to get together and know what is happening in the world, uh, four four continents, and we d discuss uh, what are you doing in school and what what are the purpose in school with the programming, and I think that's very amazing. It enriches me a lot to hear whatever what people are doing in every countries. <clears throat> so that's that's uh, the goal for me, at least, and to meet uh, very very interesting people. That's another goal. That's a good goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we started small uh, with these ideas of of having. Mm -hmm. people together for sharing, helping each other. Uh, it's difficult to put everybody together because the time shifts and we have been as six months now trying to put and solve this kind of problems. And uh, first of all, to know about the educational system in each country, what are doing, what are they uh, aiming each country and so we can learn and we can know from inside each school from each country what's happening in the world and what are the main ob objectives uh, in South Korea in China and things like that this is our primary uh, goal of course as men as long as we solve this technical problems and as much we have more people engaged we can do something bigger it's not only we can produce a paper or can do some products together and so uh, we are, I, I'm in contact with people from Africa. I've been to Africa, to Africa Code the Week. We have people in Asia. And it's so different, cultural and educational, religious, everything so different. So learning so much to learn. And it's a, as Ed Anders said, it's a very rich, rich. Uh, experience but of course we are just beginning we can do more and we are open for suggestions and ideas so we don't have a strict formal school project so that's the cool part of the thing we the idea is to share to play our passions in this philosophy of sharing of peers into something different, okay? Uh, so we are open to everything, okay? Yep, I think that's yep, I think it's good. Beatriz, parla Beatriz. Uh, do you hear me? Uh, yeah, we, we have some audio problem. And uh, what is uh, the problem is um, 
as I wrote, uh, the festival, we we need to know maybe in on what uh, in this period we are working or or um, as uh, Sandy put it forward about resources. Um, so uh, as you um, did uh, for uh, the um, sketch conference and she and a worksheet where we can write um, uh, our uh, our uh, resources so, or link and also LCL I don't know if uh, they would like to continue in uh, I know for uh, for uh, South American countries, and uh, Carmelo Presice told me that, uh, that he was uh, working for uh, MIT in Boston. He told me that they um, they would like to restart with others LCL. How much better? But. You know, the first LCL has been agreed because uh, there, there, were, there were a lot of um, uh, also MIT students that participate. There was the first page. No, I think we we talk uh, we talked about that. Uh, there are many many new things uh, now. Uh, it seems to me there are there are many th many activities about. Uh, uh, um, uh, about LCL activities proposed. In four years, uh, there, there has been a, a great, a green, uh, a great um, uh, gap. I mean, no, I don't know how to, uh, how to say. There's a, 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 many difference. But four years ago, four years ago, in Italy. Uh, there are very, very few people working or um, working on robotics, but not only robotics. What on the concept of the creative learning? Now it becomes uh, very, very uh, active also in Italian teachers. Not all are involved, but the government uh, asked uh, teachers for. Uh, uh, creative learning. They invite they, the government invite. Sorry, they invite uh, uh, um, Karen Wilkinson from Exploratorium of New York. So many many things uh, I think have moved from uh, these years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. So I think I think this idea of suggestions, like in the conference, it's a good idea. Uh, we can think about, we can brainstorm something. Uh, Norma, could you please turn off your microphone? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, thanks. And I think that it's a good idea uh, to start uh, seeing what ideas. We are open to that, but to new ideas, to new projects. And we are in this initial phase of putting together everybody, uh, scheduling, scheduling the time to make, to make our sessions, to put everybody together and solving technical problems that is already a huge <laughs> work uh, we have been doing this six months so we are going on these and now i think we can start thinking about new new stuff we are open to these ideas but the most important is to keep the people together <clears throat> okay. So, um, if I'm hearing correctly, 
we're thinking you're thinking about planning something for the conference that's coming up this summer or presenting or or just planning a gathering to collect our resources to share to share out something along those lines is that what one of the things i am i getting that correctly i mean i think that's a great idea um um like maybe a panel or something like maybe a panel or something we can we can we can think about it yeah. also we can think about it okay. it's a it's an idea yeah yes great i'm not going sorry <laughs> i'm not going sorry it's okay thank you sandy Martin, would you like to add something? Yeah, I, I, I'm, something? Actually, I'm actually I'm just getting ready to go off to work, so I, I can't be here much longer. But um, as much as I like the, the, the we are, we are finishing. We are finishing. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, yes. yeah. I, I think, you know, ha having a, a uh, like Google group or something where we can post questions and post ideas and stuff. To me, that's a, a much more uh, a effective way of communicating because it's it's hard to get people together at the same time. Although this is a good time for me because it's I'm always up drinking coffee at this time. But um, uh, anyway, but but I, I we can definitely share ideas and post ideas or ask questions on on some sort of forum. I I don't like Facebook, so I know I know we have a, like a Facebook thing. Because you get so much other garbage with it, where Google, uh, Google Plus, you can just you can really limit what you have to look at, and and uh, so anyway, that's my two cents. So I'm gonna have to sign out, and uh, I'll just keep sending out messages, and I'll be around. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Martin. You be in touch. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I should say. Alan. Maybe I should say. Okay. Should say okay. only uh, that. Should say only uh, that. Could you mute your? Thank you. Uh, the, this session is uh, recorded. Uh, we we try to record our sessions with the presentation and everything to those people who couldn't manage to uh, get into the session. So this is recorded and it stays on the channel, uh, Peers of the World channel, YouTube channel. Uh, so you know, if you don't like to be uh, recorded, you have to say that before. <laughs> Sorry. This is the downside with uh, video conferences. Everything can happen. There was a video with a man with children. Have you seen in a, a, a economist with a journalist? Uh, and a, have you never seen in a, is a viral, viral video where there are two children coming from the from the door and. Uh, his wife uh, <laughs> during the, the direct uh, conference on uh, BBC or something like uh, a TV. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. It's it's like I think like, I think it, I think it, this is part of our learning to get used to all this technology to improve us uh, to improve it, this everything. So I think it's a. Uh, learning process for us too and as teachers we are in charge so we have to learn that i think to be uh, easy it, it must be easier for us to manage all this stuff that's part of the learning process so that's it 
Do you agree, teacher Alan? One of the things I'm thinking of is um, right. Right. early you days know. now, but if we could uh, perhaps I could offer some services to, um, right. to the kids that if you have any kids that um, need help with something I have some expertise in, we can right. do that through uh, uh, the teleconferencing as well. So maybe just have eventually have kids all around the world co uh, cooperating on something. To know each other. And that was my suggestion. That was my I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. And uh, what do you think about uh, the Google Plus uh, area instead of Facebook? Well, I, I'm also not in, I, I don't have a Facebook account. I'm very, very much against Facebook, but that's a personal thing. I understand why people like it. Um, I actually prefer Google Plus for the same reasons uh, that were given before. Mm. So we could set up a, 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 what is called a, an area, Google Plus group for us. Yeah. yeah. A community. I, they call yes. community yes. Uh, circles yes yes you yes. used to have it but then uh, when we first took took the lcl in 2013 we only use it google but then a lot of new ones come back and they use facebook so to contact people from home, any other place i have to use Facebook to reach it and out. So I, I use everything, but we have set this community on Google and call the others to join us on Google community. We can do that. While, it, while I'm here, I'm talking with the others using Messenger, WhatsApp, because Messengers in Facebook, everybody has, almost everybody has, the main, and especially the, the youngers, they use Facebook. So, but it's a good idea too to make this new community using everything from Google. So we can start putting everything together. That's the, the main thing we have to do. That's right. Okay, we can, uh, we are about to finish now. We can uh, organize this Google community and uh, organize all the emails, contacts, tweets, timetables, and so we can prove this technical, practical stuff. Do you agree? Sounds good to me. Sounds yeah, good to, me. to me too. It's okay. I agree. I think that's a good idea. You can send out the um, invites to the folks that you want to include, maybe the ones that are on Facebook, but once they have the invite and join, they can start using that as a um, avenue or a way of communication. And, it, and I liked it when we used the Google Plus before. I think it's uh, cleaner. Yes, it is. So let's do that. Um, for next week, um, some of you would you like to present something? Or we can... Maybe Beatrice could present about uh, her work uh, in the library, the beautiful work you do at the library. I have the opportunity to, to participate in a workshop with the children and it's amazing what the work she did there. Well, 
my English will be no, my English will be very yeah, poor, so I don't know. And uh, now they are they are um, working. We are working on uh, because uh, uh, maybe we made a presentation make it fair um, on uh, embroider embroidery embroidery. How do you say embroidery? Yes, maybe you could tell us about this next week if you can. We could prepare something. Yes, and there are many others to join us. Okay, if you yes. can't, no problem. When you are ready, you could show because it's a very uh, beautiful things to show to share with us. Please take your time, but it would be great if you could share with us. Okay. If you want. If you want, you yes. <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay. So okay. we are about to finish it, and we are going to organize this Google, and are inviting more people to join us. Okay, Anders. The, no, the the last words. Uh, <laughs> the last words. <laughs> Uh, okay, I stop uh, broadcasting okay, I stop now. Broadcast. You can go to the channel and see if it's working uh, the the recording. And then, Heloisa, um, you and me, we could uh, set up the Google Plus uh, group. Yeah, and we connect everything. And we connect everything to to that channel. Alan, Alan, can help us too because he's very yeah i know <laughs> experienced in this stuff martin <laughs> if you need any help just, just ask I, I may not be helping but i'll be not helping, be helping but i'll be helping. great thank you yeah thank you all thank you for inviting me bye bye Bye, everyone. Bye, Sandy. Bye-bye. Bye, honey. Bye, girls. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.